Hey guys, Lizzie here. So, today we're doing something a little bit different. It's all about gannets, these insane aerial predators, and I want to learn how to dive like one. And to do that, I've come to a diving centre in Leeds. A little bit nervous. This is my doom. Right here, 10 metres, off this board. So today I've taken on the task of channeling my inner gannet by throwing myself off a 10 metre board. I'm joined by Becky Gallantry, three time Olympian and world champion who's going to help me. How am I going to throw myself off that board? Okay, so we're not going to go straight up to 10 metre. We'll start low down and we'll just gradually work our way up to learn to be an ultimate gannet. They're very distinctive birds. The adults have these bright white bodies these black wingtips and this yellow head, they're beautiful birds, one of our largest seabirds here in the UK. They can reach up to 60 miles an hour, diving wow. from heights from about 45 to metres high. Everything about them is so well adapted yeah. for this diving behaviour. You've got their eyes, they've got special membranes which help protect their eyes. They've got this network of air sacs in their face and chest to reduce the damage to their organs and brain. Wow. And when they enter the water, they tuck their wings in, folding them in as close to their bodies as possible to make them really streamlined, just like the divers would yeah. when you're entering that water, yeah. right? And they've got no coach on the sidelines telling yeah. them how to do it better. They just know. That's it with gannets. They do not get a practice run. So obviously these gannets involved so many things to reduce that impact of mm. that force on their body. What sort of force are we going to feel when, well, you feel when you dive? You're going to probably be hitting the water at around 35 miles an hour. If you're going upright, which hopefully, fingers crossed you will, you might feel a bit of force through your arms because it's your arms that are really taking the impact to that water. And are injuries common? Fairly common. These guys are training six days a week, two sessions a day. Any sport where you're training that intensely, I think there's a, a fairly high risk of injury. I didn't think I'd be this nervous at only five metres. But I gotta do double that. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. The entirety of my thighs slapped on the water like a lost seal. from three to five to seven. I feel like this has been a real learning experience. Yes. And you've been with me the whole way. I, and I can only thank you for that. And it You're comes welcome. to this very moment. Yeah. So the one you did on seven meter was great. Let's do the exact same thing again. Okay. Easy, easy. Here we go, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> so you need to stretch forwards a little bit more. Okay. And stay really tight as you fall. Okay. Imagine you're a gannet. Imagine <laughs> I am a gannet. my nose. I think this will be something that I'll remember forever. And to top it all off, my hat goes off to all of the gannets. You are <laughs> one incredible species and what an incredible adaptation to do that times three. Oh, nature is wonderful. 